not bad for a running quarterback, they say. The running quarterback does this. The running quarterback does that. But as long as our running quarterback does this, precede with a drop back, he can do it all day. Let's go. Now that we have all those formalities out the way, let's get into the reason we're here. Um, Lamar and his running. He had a bunch of running yards. I think I'll cut to his next-gen stats right here. The green lines are the one you want to focus on. They're all five-plus yards rushing. But uh, when you look at that chart, you see just a bunch of wavy lines with him going everywhere. But the reason for this breakdown is I said it, you know, during the Chargers game last year, they should have just called plays and then let him – scramble to get his yardage and not had so many uh, quarterback runs and things like that. Um, now they're calling pass plays because they believe in you know his arm and his progressions and him reading coverages and whatnot. And he's getting a lot of rushing yards because you know defenders are covering receivers. So let's get into his scrambles and not his design runs for this week too. This is a perfect time to give this video a thumbs up. And while you're down there, make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button. Thanks. First play, I just let it run through before I talk through it. You got Brown coming in motion. You got a little naked bootleg. Got a couple guys that were, were covered. Let's just see what went on. So you got Brown coming in motion to make it like a trip side with the tight end to the top. You're going to fake, uh, like a, sort of like a power and whatnot. Tight end is going to release. Tight end up top is going to release. This tight end is going to release to come to run like an over route. I think this is Borkin. He's going to you know, get up top. And, and um, let's see what Hollywood does. So Boyer stays in the block to make it look like a run. Hollywood comes and tries to run a little rail route. Borkin runs a, a go, so to speak. And they try to void this area for uh, Andrews coming across. Cardinals did a good job of covering it. But now, you know, this is progression one. I'm not sure which one of these are two or three, but this is definitely progression one. This may be number four, just in case they didn't cover the backside. But uh, all these guys are covered. Cardinals did a good job of whatever coverage they were in of covering this. And now, this is where he get his yards at. Still, still pump faking and, and trying to, you know, give himself some room. Because at, at, let me see if I can back it up. At this point, he knows he's running the ball. So this pump fake is a formality to try to bait this guy to, to jump or do something else so he can get extra yardage. So now he takes off and gets six. Easy. Instead of forcing the ball somewhere, trying to make a crazy throw to Hurst or this is double covered or trying to fit this in and, you know, some kind of Aaron Rodgers type throw over the shoulder. It's, it's just smart. Just more for him to check down. Take these six yards. Because if you see the marker, I think it's first down. Second and four. Second and four. That's a good, smart, safe play. At six yards of rushing of the 120. Matter of fact, let's try to keep up with these yardage. Let me see what. Let me just write this down somewhere. Keep up with his yard. He had 120 rushing. That's six. All right, let's go to the next play. Sneed coming in motion. Little, little smoke fake, little pop fake. And he getting pressure. Well, let him let it play through first. Avoids the pressure. Get a nice run. Nice run. So let's go back and dissect. Second down, second and that's 10. So second and 15. Second and 15. What you get is a, a tight 2x2 two two formation. Well, it was 3x1. Now it's 2x2 two two with Sneed coming in motion. Sneed running the, like a, you know, just basically like four verts. It's three verts, really. And you keep him boiling in the block. Ingram's going to check down. So you basically got three vertical routes. You got three vertical routes. And they're in cover three. So they kind of, they kind of got that covered, especially with not having a vertical route out here. They got the seams covered. And, um, you know, he could throw this, but at this point, this guy can either undercut that or he could just come snatch it. So it's a good job of just not forcing that. At this point in time, he's not an option. Look at one, two, three guys right there. Probably could throw this check down a mark, but he's going to probably get hit in the back. So um, 
just decides to decides to hold it a little longer. And he got somebody barreling in his face. Who's he got a little stunt right here, a little twist. Is that Stanley? Stanley comes off. I think that's Suggs. He makes Suggs miss. Steps up. Keeps his eyes down for you. Now, with Stanley missing, this is a good job of Stanley. He missed. Didn't quit on the play. Knows he got a guy back, back there that can make things happen. Now, look who turns into the lead blocker. Right here. The same guy that missed, or uh, well, not missed his block, but came off his block. He is now a lead blocker. The mark cuts right off of it. Boom. And keep in mind, he's, get, he's getting these yardage because we actually got pass, pass, deep pass routes running. Running. So this one is, this route is what, 20, almost 30 yards down the field. So you got two guys covering that. And then another guy here about 30 yards down the field. This guy sitting at about 20. These guys are about mm, 10 and 8-ish. So you got a ton of room. That if he can make a guy miss, look at that hole. So now it turns to a big hole. And again, Stanley turns to the lead blocker on the linebacker. Cuts off that. Just uses his speed. Not a bad run. So it goes from being second and 15 to third and five. Very, very, very manageable. Ain't much in your playbook for second, for third and 15, but this is, it's your whole playbook's open for third and five. Your whole playbook's over. All right. So let, well, let me get the yardage. Let me go back and get the yardage. Let's see where they got tackled at. On the 30. So let's say you got 10 yards. So that's 16 yards total. And keep in mind, I only got like, I think I got four, maybe five plays. Next play. It is second and two, three, four, five, six, six. Second and eight. Second and eight. Uh, boys going to kind of come back to a, a, a butt sniffer position. And now they have, what's that? Pistol, like a power pistol set. Boy comes across, helps in protection. Gus helps in protection. So now you gotta you gotta curl down here. Let's see what you got. Let's the route combo. You got a little, little curl. Trying to little smash maybe. Smash at the bottom. And he can't get outside. So he he reversed the route. Because I'm sure he he really don't want to run a post with one high safety sitting there. So I'm thinking he had smashed just couldn't get outside. So I'm thinking this smash with the dig on the backside. All right, and they cover pretty good. Again, they locked these. They got these guys locked up on this play. Good job of coverage by the Cardinals, and they got guys sinking underneath. The funny thing is, <laughs> these three guys are sinking to the left because of Lamar's eyes, but there's only one guy over here. So now you have, as his eyes over there too. You have one, two, three, four, five guys basically covering one guy. Then you got these two guys locked up, you know, man to man, which and they did a good job of covering. So they're covered. But just keep in mind, we talk about Lamar eyes. His eyes gonna move all those guys over there. Play fake, looking at the top, looking at the top. All them guys trying to get out of there, all of them. So that's five guys on one side of the field. Luckily, he had tight coverage at the bottom to, you know, to so he he didn't have anything to come back to. So now when he turns his head to come back, that corner's covered, the hitch is covered. Let's break camp. Now and with the little pivot by whoever that is, I think it's Snead. Opens it, gives him the outside, gives him the edge. So he goes from second and eight, but not eight, it's like seven. Gets those seven. Now he has 10, gets 11. 11 yards. So that's another, that's 11. On three pl three running plays. Well, three passing plays that turned into runs, which are way more safer because he can get to the sideline. And if I'm not mistaken, he hadn't taken a lick on any of these plays. Yeah, let's, let's run it back real quick. I'm, not gonna, I'm just going to see had he taken a lick. They got got tackle right there. And he ran out of bounds on his. So three plays we've seen, he's he's gotten tackled once. Three plays, one he got tackled once. So this is the play we just saw. Let's go to this fourth play. Um so what's the formation? We got uh two tights right, so it's kinda like a overload to the right. You got Hollywood coming in motion, so it's double tight. Bring in the other receiver mostly. You got your two receivers on the left, and you got your two tight ends up right with pistol back. So you got a little play action. You got a little boot, a little half boot action. Two man route, because everybody else is in pass pro. Everybody else is in pass pro. You got a little scissors. Little scissors. Ball's going to run like a little skinny post. Hollywood's going to come underneath him on the corner. 
So at this point, if the ball's if he was ready to throw, the ball would be out and run that throw it to that corner. He'd be good. If he threw it, if the ball's in the air now, right here somewhere, it'd be good. But now he's just not ready to throw, and this dude's kind of gonna break on that. And he probably still could fire this in there, but he did. He still could fire it in there. So now it's not open. Climb in the pocket to see if the post come open. Post does not come open. Is the safety does a good job turning his hips? Watch the safety. Let me back it up. Safety seeing that post coming. This is the guy I'm talking about right here. Watch him. Seeing that guy coming. Knowing he better get out of there because boy, a boy can pretty fast. He goes ahead and turns. So that turn right there lets uh, Lamar know to come off of that. And at this point, now the little out and uh, the scissors are out and up or whatever is covered. Three men downfield now. Find an exit. Find an exit. Now look at all this room he got to cover. I mean to run. All this room. All this free grass. Free grass. Not see how many yards he gets on this. This second and ten. The hezzy. Don't really work. Got the ten yards. Uh oh, and then squeeze out another three. Fourteen yards. So fourteen yards on four carries. But well, not necessarily four carries, four scrambles. Four scrambles. So again, that is let me add these yards up. That's thirty. 41, 47. That's 47 yards of the 120 that he got on just plays that should have been passes. Drop back passes. He only got tackled once in four plays. These are the, the ways he should get his, his rushing yards. We should limit his, his quarterback, his design quarterback runs. Uh, you know, let him drop back. Let him see if guys open. Let him go through his progressions. And I could have broken down even more and you could see him going through his progressions and then deciding to run because in none of those four plays did he just turn out and just go. He was looking downfield, head downfield, really wanting to throw the ball, but things just wasn't were not open or he were uncomfortable with the situation. So, um, again, I'm going to reiterate. I said it right after the Chargers game, and I'm saying it now. Most of Lamar runs should come on drop back passes, just like the beginning of the video. He can run, 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 run like far as gone. As long as that's preceded by a drop back, I'm cool with it. Uh, we got a big game with the Chiefs coming this week. If this is your first time here, make sure you like and subscribe. And also come in the chat box. I get with you, you know, pretty quick if I'm not busy. Um, make sure you check out the Teespring site. And um, we'll be coming at you soon. Ravens Roundup Week 2, Lamar Jackson. This is Coach Evans from Sip the Tally Films. Make sure you go on over to teespring.com and get some of the merch we have lined up. Get your FTMF shirts. Uh, stands for Film, then More Film. Or Fruit, Tomatoes, and More Fruits. Then you can pop on over and get your Afterlease shirt. For all those former athletes that mentally we still got it, physically we just don't have it anymore. Then you can look, check out the different products I have with the Ravens Roundup design on them. T-shirts, sweatshirts, uh, cell phone cases, all that good stuff. And again, this is Coach Evans, and I appreciate you. Salute.